We hope so. Up till this point, you will have a good theoretical understanding about the interquartile range and the quartiles. Now let's try to figure it out that how you can calculate the interquartile range and the quartile by yourself in R. As you can see it here that we are in our working directory which is a test and we have loaded our clinical data set .csv file in our R environment and we have stored this information in a form of a variable that is data. Now let's try to figure it out the quantiles of our age variable that is present in our data set. So before moving ahead, let's first type one comment so that we can remember the nature of the code later on. As you know it very well that the commands are always going to begin with a sign of hash. So we are going to type the sign of hash and then we are going to type the command. After typing the command, we will come to the next line and we will type a one function and name of the function is quantile. After typing the function, we will come inside the parenthesis and we will type the name of the variable that is holding our data. And as you know that, the name of the variable is data. So we will type data. After typing the data, we will type the dollar sign to select our column or the variable. As you know that we are working with the age variable. So we will select the age here. After typing the age, we will come out of the parenthesis and then we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Once we will do that, then please see the console. In the console, you will have the output. As you can see it here that you are going to have the five different values at the output. The first value is 0% and below the 0% you can see 18.00. What does it mean by the 0%? The 0% is a minimum value of your data set. Then you are going to have a 25% and below the 25% you are going to see the value 42.00. So what is this? This is quartile 1 or the Q1. Then you are going to have the 50% and below the 50% you are going to have 48.00. What is this? This is primarily the Q2 or the second quartile. And then you have 75% and below the 75% you are going to have 54.25. What is this? This is your Q3 or the third quartile. And after it, you are going to have 100% and below the 100% you are going to have a value 72.00. What is this? This is going to be the maximum value in your data set. By looking at this output, I am going to have an idea that the minimum age in my data set is 18 and the maximum age in my data set is 72. We hope so that now you will be comfortable to get an idea about the quantiles by yourself in R. Now let's try to calculate the IQR. So let's first type a one command. And after typing the command, come to the next line. And in the next line, we are going to use a one function capital IQR. After typing IQR in capital, we will give the parenthesis and after giving the parenthesis, we are going to type the name of the variable that is holding our data. And it is data. And after typing the name of variable, we will give the dollar sign and then we are going to select the name of the column or the variable in which we are interested. So right now we are interested in age. So we will select the age, then we will come out to the parenthesis and then we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. And when we will press the run button or press the control enter key, then look at the console for the output. In the console, we are going to have a value of 12.25. And this is going to be our interquartile range. You can calculate this interquartile range by subtracting the Q3 from Q1. We hope so that now you will be comfortable to calculate the IQR by yourself in R.